In the previous video, we were introduced to screws. Now we will take a look at an example relating to screws. We have a jack screw with a pitch of 25 millimeters and a handle length of 35 centimeters. We first want to find the ideal mechanical advantage. Again, the ideal mechanical advantage is equal to two times pi times the radius divided by the pitch. Substituting in our values, we see that the radius is 35 centimeters. However, we need to have consistent units, so we are going to convert the centimeters into millimeters. 35 centimeters is equal to 350 millimeters, so we will substitute that in for the radius, and the pitch is 25 millimeters. Multiplying, we see that the ideal mechanical advantage is 88. Next, we want to find the ideal load that can be lifted with an effort force of 203 newtons if there were no friction. Using the same equations as before to find the load force, we know that is equal to the effort force multiplied by the IMA. Our load force is 203 newtons, and our ideal mechanical advantage is 88. This gives us a maximum ideal load of 17,900 newtons. Using the same drag screw as the previous two parts, we want to know what load can actually be lifted if this jack screw has an efficiency of 72%. Looking at the equation circle for efficiency and covering up actual, we see it is equal to the efficiency multiplied by the ideal load. The efficiency is 0 0.72, which is 72% in decimal form, and the ideal load from the previous part is 17,900 newtons. Multiplying, we see that the actual load is 12,900 newtons. In the next video, we will take a look at wedges.